Learn how to load games in PPSSPP for iOS device using the latest working methods, and play your favorite PlayStation game in your iOS device. Once PPSSPP is sideload, just launch the application once, so that it can create folders in your iOS device. Please do not ignore this very first step, as it is very important to have the PPSSPP folder created in your device. Next launch files app, and as you can see, I have downloaded these two games which is in zip files. Now there are two ways to extract this zip files, as PPSSPP only supports ISO files. The first method is for newer iOS versions where all you need to do is just tap on the zip file, and it will automatically extract and unzip the file as you can see from the video. The second method is for older iOS versions, where you need to download this app from the App Store. I will leave the link in description. Now launch this application, and tap on files, next tap on the share icon is shown on the video, and then tap on document browser. If you need any help, just reach out to me. Now just add those two zip files you want extract. Once the files is imported successfully, just tap on the zip file, and just tap on extract as shown. And as you can see, the zip file is extracted and a new folder is created. Inside the folder, you will find .iso file. Now just tap on the eye icon, and then tap on open in. Now just export the same in files app, by clicking on save to files, and just export the ISO files to any location. Next launch the files app and navigate to the .iso file which was exported earlier. Long press on the file, and move the file to the PPSSPP folder as shown on the video, which is located in the path, which is on my iPad or iPhone. I will leave the path in description. If you have any query, just reach out to me, I am easily available in Telegram. Please do not place the file in the PSP folder. Once the file is placed correctly, just go back and launch the PPSSPP. Here just tap on PSP. And next you will see a folder system, and an arrow icon. Just tap on this arrow icon, and as you can see the game is loaded successfully to PPSSPP. Now let me just run the game, and show that everything is working great and with sound enabled. Now if you are interested to have Game Boy, Nintendo DS, PlayStation and many many more, with just one app, watch the next video on RetroArch.